now we come to the determinants of supply let's see what are the factors that determine the quantity that is being supplied first the price of goods now price is the biggest determinant of supply like price was the biggest determinant of demand in case of supply also the price is the biggest determinant an increase in price leads to an increase in supply a decrease in price leads to a decrease in supply now think of yourself from the point of view of a seller from the point of view of a producer wouldn't you like to maximize your profit how can you maximize your profit then at a lower price or at a higher price obviously when you charge a higher price in the market from the consumer you will be able to maximize your profit so wouldn't you want to sell more products at a higher price you would for sure want to sell more products at that high price so in short we can conclude that producers supply more at a higher price and producers supply lesser number of units at a lower price and thus we see that the price of the good price of the commodity is the determinant for its supply next is price of the related goods now we've already studied this point again in demand we said demand is affected by the price of related goods and here also we are saying supply of that good is affected by the price of its related goods we've also done that related goods are of two types complements and substitutes so how do you think would be the relation of supply of a good with the price of its related good let's take complement for example let's take the example of tea and sugar now let's assume that the price of sugar uh, let let's assume that the price of tea is increasing now with an increase in the price of tea more packets of tea are being supplied in the market and when more packets of tea get supplied in the market suddenly the supply of sugar also increases in the expectation that more tea would be sold and more sugar will also be required for it so the supply of sugar is affected by the price of tea thus we see that in case of complements one good the price of one good affects the quantity of other good again in case of substitutes let's take the example of pepsi and coke now let's assume that the price of pepsi increases what this will do is it will lead to an increase in supply of pepsi because it has become more profitable now since it has become more profitable the supply of coke will reduce because the profit margins of coke are less so sellers would want to sell more of pepsi so again we see that the supply of coke is dependent upon the price of pepsi the supply of coke is getting affected by the price of pepsi so both complements and substitutes the price of complements and substitutes affect the supply of the good next is the price of factors of production now we all know that to sell goods or rather to offer the goods for selling we need to first produce the goods and for production factors of production are required 
factors of production like land labor capital etc these are the factors of production now it is important for a seller to have a good margin of profit to increase the supply of the good but let's say the cost of factors of production increases that is the machinery that he is employing for production becomes costlier or the rent which he is paying for his factory gets doubled so what happens is because of increased cost of factors of production his profit margin gets reduced when the profit is reduced it gives him lesser motivation to supply more in the market so what happens is he supplies a lesser number of units in the market so we see that the cost of factors of production also affects the supply next is the state of technology as we've discussed that to supply the goods we need to produce them first now for production it depends which technology we use if we use modern technology if we use a faster technology we can supply more number of goods because with the modern or a faster technology we can produce more goods in the same amount of time and thus the supply will increase but let's say we are using the traditional methods of production we are using the outdated technology or we are producing goods more with labor intensive techniques what will happen is we start taking more amount of time to produce goods and since more time is required to produce goods in a given period of time we will be producing less number of goods and if less number of goods are produced less number of goods would be offered for sale in the market so we can say that less quantity would be supplied supply is also based or determined by technology government policy a government policy means the amount of restrictions the amount of taxes the amount of subsidies that it puts on a particular sector or a particular good now let's say the government puts a lot of taxes on soaps what this will do is this will increase the price of the soaps now when the price is increased we know that the supply increases but in this case the price increase does not lead to a higher profit margin for the seller so even with an increase in price seller may not increase the supply or let's assume that the price remains constant because a seller in this competitive market cannot increase the price so what he'll have to do is pay the taxes to the government from his profits what this will do is this will reduce the supply of soaps in the market because the producers are not motivated enough to produce more more of soaps because they'll have to pay more taxes on them so taxes play an important role in determining supply in a contrary case subsidies also play an important role if the government gives subsidies to the producers or the sellers for particular goods they'll be inclined more to produce more of such goods because apart from profits they also get subsidies from the government so supply of those goods in the market will increase now let's take a case of regulation generally in a country like india the government does not regulate the prices of the goods but at times when the government feels that the prices have gone out of control it comes into action and sets ceiling for such prices i remember 3 years ago the prices of cement had shot up from 
150 per bag to 280 per bag this had escalated the construction cost which was leading to an inflation in the real estate prices and this was artificial inflation led by the increased prices of cement so what government did was government came into action and set the regulation the ceiling for the prices of cement to 225 per bag now what this did was it reduced the profits for the sellers for the manufacturers and suddenly the market saw a decline in the supply of cement so we see that government inter intervention government regulations the taxes imposed by government plays an important role in determining the supply of the goods there are other factors that determine the supply let's take an example of land in many parts of india land is very fertile what happens is where the land is fertile suddenly you get a better crop than the land which is not fertile so this is a natural factor which affects the supply sometimes you see natural calamities and when you encounter natural calamities the goods get washed off or they get destroyed so what it does is it reduces or shrinks the supply in the market there may be other factors like foreign policy a country might choose not to import goods from a particular country let's say india imposes restrictions on imports from china suddenly what it will do is it will curtail the supply of chinese goods in the indian markets so foreign policy also plays an important role there are many other factors like the foreign currency rate foreign exchange rate or the infrastructure or the transport facilities if a country has good transport facilities we we'll see that the supply of goods increase and vice versa so these factors also determine the supply of goods now let's understand in each of this case as to what is the relation of the determinant with supply first case price of the goods we've already discussed this point and we've done that when the price of the good increases it leads to a higher amount of profits for the seller so what he does is he increases the supply in the market so as to earn more profit so we can infer that when the price of the good increases its supply also increases now let's see what is the case when we are studying supply in relation to its related goods first we'll take the case of complementary goods in case of complementary goods when the price of let's say good x is increasing the supply for y will also increase this is for complements and for substitutes when the price of x increases the supply will come down so here we have a direct relation direct relation and here in direct relation price of factors of production if price of factors of production increase the supply will go down and vice versa so we have an indirect relation between price of factors of production and supply here state of technology 
a better technology will lead to higher supply because you can produce more number of goods within that same period of time if you use a traditional technology you will be able to produce lesser number of units so the relation here is direct a better technology higher supply a low grade technology lower supply government policy in case of government policy let's consider taxes for example so if taxes increase supply will go down so we can say there is an indirect relation so this is the relation of determinants with supply